Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Bloom from Winx Club. So let's get started. To draw Bloom, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And the reason I'm, I'm starting with her eyes is because she has all this amazing hair all around her face. So it's just a little bit easier to start with the eyes. Okay, so from there, um, let's come to the other side. Say about this much. I'll just go ahead and draw another circle. Okay, so I got my wobbly circles in. <laughs> They're just some days circles are not as easy as other days. Okay, so I'm going to come in there and make them draw such cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. Same thing over here. So thank you for all the requests to draw um, Winx here from, I mean, Bloom from Winx Club. I did draw her before a long time ago. So hopefully you guys love this new version of hers since there's a new season of Winx Club out. And okay, so with the eyes in, let's come in here on the sides and draw. Oh, I'm just going to give it, let's see here, two lashes. So one longer one and a shorter one. And then from there, we're going to come to the side of the eye. So really close to the eyes, say maybe half of the eyes. And I'm just going to give myself a point on both sides, about right here. And from those two points, I'm going to create a curve that's pretty sharp towards the center. So let's come right here. And we're just going to draw a curve to about the center. So say about right here. And same thing here. So it's all up to you. If you're more comfortable drawing this curve first and then drawing her eyes, um, definitely do that. Okay, so got her face in. And then now I'm going to come to about right here and draw her mouth. So it all comes together. I'm just giving her a little smirk smile. A little bit wobbly on the face, but something like that. Okay, so then from there, um, we're going to come, mm, say about right here, just kind of imagining her face. So her hair, I'm just going to come about right. Um, but you know what, before that, let me come above right here and draw her brow. So I'm just going to put a little soft curve over each eye. So it's a bit easier to figure out where to draw her hair. Sorry. Okay, so we have the brow in. Now we can come up. So in about this area, let's see about right here. I'm just going to start. I'm going to give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to draw that important strand that comes into her face. So this curve that comes right here between her eyes, kind of curves out and comes right back in between. Then from there, we're going to draw another strand that comes all the way down and back to where we started. So that's why I drew the eyes in first. It's a little bit easier for the hair. So same thing over here. There's going to be another strand and it's going to come right here. Okay, so hopefully that was a little bit made it easy for you to follow along. So we got that in. Now we can start building her gorgeous hair. So from let's see here. Let's from there. Let's start on this strand first. We're going to come down and let's see. Sweep this down. And we're going to curve it up. Nice full strand, and we're going to bring everything back up. So everything is kind of up here in this area and go up. And so same thing on this side. So we're going to bring this down 
and about right here we're going to come out for our second important strand and you can curve it out if you like so then right here is this little piece of hair that's kind of curves in little strand right here there okay so then from there let's um, come and draw the top of her hair so we're just going to um, imagine this coming up so say about right here we're going to start just want to make sure this is wider than her face so about right here we're going to start to go up with a curve for more hair and we're going to come about right here and draw another curve say about right there and another one and we're just starting to round it off and come back down and so um let's see here and then before i forget i'm going to tuck in her ears right here on each side and so the reason i'm drawing these little bumps is because there's some strands of hair that we want to put in so just very lightly say one right there where her hair kind of parts draw in another one just for some details okay so then on this strand of hair there's a detail right here that i wanted to draw in for you so in this strand you can put in some sparkles in this area and let's see here there's one right here and another strand that comes down with the sparkles in it so it all depends on how much detail you want to put in but i wanted to draw in some of the main ones for you and then from there let's come up right here and we're going to start to draw the top so let's um let's start right here i'm just going to draw in a curve and this is the band that holds her hair up and a curve and then there's going to be one bigger loop right at the top and then this is going to start to come down right into this area okay so that's the main part right there and so then from there um, i'm going to leave everything else until i finish off her outfit first so now let's come back and draw her neck so right in the center I'm going to give her a little neck right there and let's uh, bring in a very deep curve to connect right in the center from there i'm going to draw her collar so come up and draw this little curve that comes in on both sides on both sides i mean and then draw another curve and tuck it in right up in the back there so in this little area you've created we're going to put in her um, her shoulders so a little curve come in here and then put in her shoulders and then her armpits would be above right here and here so I'm just going to create two angle lines and then from there let's go ahead and i'm going to add a curve right here for her outfit and i'm going to bring this down just a tiny bit more then from there i'm going to come in here and add a curve on both sides that comes pretty deep and goes back up to the center i mean comes down to the center and goes right back up and from there we're going to create this little loop just like her collar that comes in on both sides and 
and one more layer. There. And then from there, we can go ahead and draw her skirt, which is very poofy. So it's come out right here. And we're going to poof out the skirt on both sides. And so it's pretty even. From there, I'm going to come right here and curve and go back right up. And inside right here, I'm going to draw another layer. It's going to come down. And I'm just going to follow the top. And back. And then right here, just add a little curve to give our skirt some volume. Okay, so then from there, let's, um, since we're down here, let's draw her legs. So right in the center, uh, about right here, I'm going to start to draw her legs. So it's a slight, it's a very slight angle. And about right here, her hips. And let's bring this down, nice long legs. And it's getting thinner as we come down. So notice just a slight angle from the center. And about right there, I'm gonna stop and gonna add a curve on both sides. And about right here, I'm gonna add a little curve that comes out once again just like her collar and her skirt, just a little detail and the curve on the back. And then now we can go ahead and finish her shoe. So I'm continuing this, come down and as I come down, I'm going to start to widen it out a little bit for her feet and then connect it. And then since we're here, let's come in here and draw two curves right here and a bit little line and two small ones right there for her toes and i'm going to add in some details right here there and then for her back leg same thing it's gonna come about right here so i'm just gonna tuck it in just to make it a little bit easier to draw Okay, so then from there, we're pretty much done with her feet. Now let's come and draw her arms. So I'm having her arms just tucked right in just to make it easier once again to draw. Since she has a poofy skirt, we can just go ahead and tuck it right in and not have to draw her hands. Makes it a lot easier, right? So once again, just tuck it in. And then about right, let's say about right here, add a curve. For her gloves and then for some details on her skirt dress right here come in here and draw a curve on both sides and in the center she has a bunch of stars so i'm going to very lightly draw i'm just going to put three there's supposed to be four of them but it's just too much detail <laughs> so i'll just put three stars and there's also stars here as well um, let me just show you how to draw them but they're white lines so if you're coloring it you can do that but i just wanted to show you really quickly and then um, just leave a line across following your skirt pattern and then in here in these little corners you just draw a little star here and there so like i said it's all up to you how much detail you want to put on your um, drawing okay so now that part is done let's go ahead and finish off her hair so i'm going to come right here in this area and I'm just gonna wiggle. Uh, let's see here. Go all the way down, maybe. 
put in a little curve right here and come in. So on this side, kind of the same thing. Uh, let's come about right here. And I'm gonna put in a strand. Comes in and continues all the way through. So coming out and back. And then you can come in here if you like and add some more detail lines. So very lightly, or you can do this when you're coloring. So maybe one right here. And some strands right here. Okay. So that is pretty much it for the drawing of Bloom here. Now to draw her amazing wings. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna start right here. And the reason I'm, um, I'm just gonna do her hair, uh, the wings last and is because they're just made up these lines and the blob of color. So I'm gonna start right here. And let's start with the first line. So I'm just gonna go over everything, over her hair over her um, yeah basically over her hair it doesn't really matter it's just these lines that come up so let's draw another one right here hope I don't mess it up too much <laughs> and then there's this big one right here so and it's gonna come right back in and everything is coming right back into there. And then there's one more here. So let's come out here and draw one that comes out. And let's see here. One more. And one more here, and then some of the ones over here. So right here, I'm gonna tuck in one, and then a smaller one. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in here and thicken it up. So hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Okay, so now to draw the other side. Um, basically, you're just going to come across and I'm just gonna give myself points and I'm just gonna try my best <laughs> to make it as even as possible. So once again, don't even worry if it's not, but we just wanna approximate. So about right there. So one. And I think I'm off already, but that's okay. So then we have another one. One, two. Let's see here. I think it'd be easier if I come this way. And then we have that big loop. So say about right here. there and bring it right back into this area so about right here as you can see I am totally struggling with this <laughs> oh, so see about right here I'm not giving up. I can do this. So about right here. And 
And let's see, there's one big one right here. And a smaller one right here. Hmm, did I get it? I think so. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna come in here and darken everything. So if you really care for it to be exactly um, just like the other side, you could just take a piece of tracing paper and trace this side and flip it over um, to draw the other side more accurately, but I don't think it really matters. I just wanna have fun with this drawing and it's okay if it's not exactly the same. So um, from there, you can come in here. We're pretty much done, except you can come in here. I just wanna show you really quickly. On, in the wings right here, just draw a bunch of stars at different um, sizes and different directions. So here and there, just pop in tiny ones and big ones in this area. I'm just gonna do that really quickly wherever I have some space. And if you need help drawing stars, definitely please um, check out my How to Draw Stars playlist. I mean, How to Draw Stars video. And hopefully that tutorial will help you figure out how to draw stars a lot easier. And okay, that is pretty much it. So hopefully I've helped you draw Bloom here from Winx Club and I've made it easy for you to follow along. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.